Hey traders, welcome back to our channel. Before watching this video, go and check our previous video, which is option spread of part 1. Let me ask you this. Have you ever bought an option expecting a big move only to see the price go nowhere while your premium slowly disappears? Or maybe you have looked into selling options to collect premium but got worried seeing the unlimited risk and the huge market requirement. If that sounds familiar, then you are not alone. And here is a good news. There is a smarter, more controlled way to trade options and it's called option spread. These strategies help you control risk, reduce capital and align your trades with your market move without taking on unnecessary exposure. In this video, you will learn what debit and credit spreads are, how to set them up using real nifty options, when to use each strategy. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. The first one is debit spread. A debit spread is when you pay a net premium to enter the trade. This involves buying one option and selling another option of the same type with a different strike price, either both calls or both puts. The goal is to lower your cost while keeping a defined profit and loss range. These are great when you expect the market to move in a specific direction, either up or down, but don't want to pay a full premium or take open-ended risk. Let's look at the two common types, bull call spread and bear put spread. Bull call spread. This is used when you are moderately bullish on a stock. You expect it to move up, but not by a huge amount. You buy a long call option at a lower strike price and sell a short call at a higher strike price with the same expiry. The premium you receive from selling helps reduce the cost of the one you bought. Let me tell you with an example. Let's say Nifty is trading around 24,900. You buy a 24,900 strike price for Rs 120 and sell 25,000 strike price for Rs 70. Your net cost is 50. That's your maximum loss. The difference between the strike is Rs 100. So your maximum profit is 100 minus the 50 that you paid which is 50 rupees. This works well when you expect Nifty to rise steadily but not shoot up beyond 25,000. Beer put spread. This is the opposite. You are moderately bullish. You buy a higher strike put and sell a lower strike put, both with the same expiry. Again, selling one option reduces your total cost. For this, let's say Nifty is trading around 24,980. You buy a 25,000 strike price put for Rs 90 and sell a 24,900 strike price for Rs 50. Your net cost is 40 rupees and that's your maximum loss. Again, the difference between the strike is Rs 100, so your maximum profit is 100 minus the premium of 40 that you paid. So the profit will be 60 rupees. This works well when you expect Nifty to fall steadily but not drop below 24,900. To summarize these, debit spreads are simple directional trades with capped loss and capped profit. You pay to enter them but in return you know your exact risk upfront. Now let's talk about credit spread. In a credit spread, you are doing the opposite. Buying and selling one option in the same class and expiry but with a different strike price. So you receive a net premium when you open the trade. You sell one option and buy another to protect yourself from the unlimited loss. These are best when you think the stock will stay within a certain range or move slowly in your favor. You are not looking for a big move or just want the market not to go against you. So here are two common types. The first one is bull put spread and the second one is bear call spread. Bull put spread. This is a bullish strategy but more conservative than the bull call spread. Instead of hoping the stock moves up, you are just betting that it won't fall too much. You sell a higher strike put and buy a lower strike put. In other words, you buy a OTM put option and sell an ATM put option with the same expiry and the underlying asset. Here you receive a net premium and your goal is both options to expire worthless. 
Let's say Nifty is trading around 24,920. You sell a 24,900 strike put for rupees 55, and you buy 24,800 strike put for rupees 20. Your net credit is 35 rupees. That's your maximum profit. The difference between the strike price that is rupees 100, so your maximum loss is 100 minus 35, which is 65. This works well when you expect Nifty to stay around 24,900. Bear call spread. This one is moderately bullish. You sell a lower strike call and buy a higher strike call with the same expiry to limit your risk. Let's say Nifty is trading around 24,960. You sell 25,000 strike call for rupees 75 and you buy 2400 strike call for rupees 30. Your net credit is 45 and that's your maximum profit. The difference between the strike is 100. So your maximum loss is 100 minus 45 which is 55. This works well when you expect Nifty to remain below 25,000. So the credit spreads are great when you want time decay on your site and prefer high probability trades with limited risk. Now you have understood how debit and credit spread work and you have seen them how they look in the real world examples. The next step is knowing how to choose the right spread for your market view. The table will show you a detailed view on choosing the right spread. To wrap it, debit spreads are used when you expect the market to move in a specific direction and want limited cost with controlled risk. Credit spreads are used when you think the market will stay with a specific range and you want to profit from the time decay, again with the defined risk. And drop a comment, are you using spreads already or getting started? Thanks for watching. Until next time, trade smart and stay consistent. Trading and investing involve substantial risk and are not suitable for every investor.